Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Shirley. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Bear. So today we're watching The Bear. So today we're jumping back into The Bear Season 1, Episode 6. Ceres, or Ceres. Probably Ceres. Probably Ceres. Yeah. Let's get right into it. Let's do it. Skin looks red. Right, so you guys want to hear the story or what? All right. so Flashback. Right? <gasps> oh, Michael. he was Michael. Right. Just this little bar in the lobby. The name series. It was named after the goddess of agriculture. Sorry. You and and your uh, fucking story. All right, someone's jealous they weren't invited, huh? Uh, I would not have gone. Anyway, on top of the building, there was like a statue mm -hmm. of series. And her back, for all of you historians, was facing towards the east. And that's because all of trading had just moved to the Midwest. John Storrs legend has it. He built this statue as like a, it was like a big fuck you. Christ, wake me up when the story starts and the fucking hey, class is look, dismissed. Try to tell, tell the story. story. Drunk as shit and fucking high as shit. We figured the only place is still open, of course, series. And being 6.45 in the morning, we are right to assume that the place is going to be a fucking ghost town. It was not a ghost town. Not only was it not a ghost town, it was a fucking rager. It was yeah. fucking packed. And cousin who was there? Savvy. Dennis motherfucking survived. Right. Number 18 in the house. I know him. Chelios, fucking Belfort. Let's go. Chris Chelios. Yeah, we know these names. Savvy had gotten inducted into the fucking Hockey Hall of Fame. We walk into this giant fucking party. I mean, it's going off. This curious fellow, he somehow gets his hands on what was it? It was like a, it was like a series pamphlet or yeah, something. Yeah. Behind the bar. All right, so he's behind he's, the bar. He's reading aloud <laughs> about the history of the goddess of agriculture. Get to say it twice. Process, and he starts leaving this outgoing message. Right? What was the fucking message? I, you have reached the voicemail of Richie Yermovich. The goddess of everything. It's just getting louder and louder and louder. And somehow with all the cacophony, all the fucking nonsense, with all the fucking hullabaloo. Yeah. We hear this fucking voice ring out, and the voice says, What are you doing? Who was it? Bill Murray! Bill Murray! Wow. All the Chicago legends, eh? And Richie says, Because it's funny. And Bill Murray says, No, no. No, it's not. That is not funny. He goes, give me your phone. Then he goes, <laughs> what's your name? Oh Fucking Bill Murray. And she's not impressed. I understand who that is. If you call me. I understand who that is. It's still there. Call me. I, I, I still got it. I believe it's you. It's still on my phone. I'm good. Bro. I'm she's over. good. You guys were at a bar at 645 in the morning? Yeah, but I'm. the, the whole point of it is that I'm 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 good. Like literally, like that's literally how the night ended. He cleans up nice though. He looked good. Would you like but, to see me again? But I'm good. You gotta grow up, bro. And it was such it's such a great story, you know. It but is. it's okay. if you don't give a shit, you don't give a shit. We use that beef scene from the first episode. Mm. This is a humor, you know. And even worse, no sense of Chicago history. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Other fish in the sea. See another galaxy. <laughs> Yo, take this green tape off before it gets to us. It takes five seconds. Because once the soapy and our fingers are pruned, we can't fuck with this shit. Yes, yes. Thank you for your time. Uh, wow. Like That's that. a reasonable request. He gave a reason for why, you know, like, not just yell at Hey, T, watch those peppers. It later is better. Are you saying risotto to go to me? I am barely convinced we're ready for to go at all. I'm just saying, if you have a taste, right here. Hey, listen to me, please. One, I'm thinking about it, so hold on. Two, I know everybody you used to work for. I called them for hiring you. Everybody said you were incredibly smart, you were incredibly talented. They also said you were incredibly impatient, incredibly green. That's why I'm here. Saying, give me a minute. Stop being impatient. That's it. Like, what are you saying? We have finally gotten this to a place where things are sort of, kind of, a little bit chill, right? Yep. I would like to hold on to that as long as I possibly can. You know, there is something called the Internal Revenue Service, and they collect taxes for I know this, beings. Natalie. They haven't given that government organization anything in five years. Oh, shit. And somehow, I'm a co-owner in this nightmare, oh. and my home will be seized if I don't give them <gasps> some money. So I'm going to need you to go in there and to get the payroll records from 2018. Can you do that for me, please? Do that. Thank you. Oof. This is in your house, Shirley. Go, Carmen. I know. I Only had money problems for two weeks, eh? Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Why the hell would he organize? 
recognize it like this. I don't know. I'll ask him when he's not dead. What's this now? Guess business is going down left and right, maybe? Yeah. No, yeah, that's good. what it looks like. Who's that? After COVID, right? Art Baggery in Copenhagen. You good, man? Yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. You know if you need anything. <sighs> Fuck it. Look, sure. when I tried out for the Cubs, I was playing on the farm too, and they wouldn't put me up. And I got pretty good at figuring out places to stay. Bro, I'm, I'm not homeless. Then what's up with the nest? So I can save time on my commute. <laughs> okay. Wow. He's passionate. So you're a psychopath. Cool. Unbelievable. Because remember, I told you that day when the fucking Sydney came in, he was there before her. Yeah. Play for the fucking Cubs. Aw. He's in his feelings. You. In his thoughts. You okay? Bar closed. You go there a lot? Or? Nah. <laughs> she always got these little questions. Let's see eye to eye. <laughs> I wonder why. Was there. Yeah. A staple. Like Logan. Wicker. They all suck now. They're different. Yeah. Oh. They are different. Gentrified. This is a delicate you ecosystem. Need to adapt to the changes, bro. And it's held together by a shared history, and love, and respect. And how much the land is worth to the next fucking contractor? Every goddamn building is taller than the next one, and they all just look out at this chick with no face, and it's just. <gasps> what the fuck? Fuck. fuck? Everybody okay? Yeah. Was that a fucking gunshot? You have cameras? I'll say probably not. They coming for you, Richie? Did you guys see who shot out my window? I didn't see it, man. It scared the shit out of me, though. Sound like it came from a car. You know, you guys aren't supposed to be hanging out here. I asked you to hang out down there. Man, don't call the cops, John. It's dangerous. Dangerous? Why well, you motherfuckers have weapons on you? <laughs> it's a different dangerous. Construction dangerous. See if you can sniff out who shot up my shit, all right? In exchange, you guys can hang out here, but low pro, all right? I don't want anything that's gonna freak out my customers, okay? All right, all right. You dig? Doug, right. huh. respect, all right? You guys said it's about a shared family and a shared this and respect. All that's out the fucking window. It broke that much glass? Okay. Yeah. I guess it was double glass. Okay, so the outside one stayed and the inside one shot. Should we call the cops? No. No. Ah! We're sweeping glass up. Don't co sign for a drug addict. 45 minutes, don't. Oh! Yeah. Keep not Shots. Dude, what? I can't Fire. Think. Yeah, just keep working. It's like nothing ever happened. What? I didn't say anything. <laughs> he said what? Uh, he knows he's coming. Yeah. Do you find uh, sugars? Whatever. No. Disconnected. Yeah. The business. Paperwork's not really my jam. Me neither. I was running it fine without you. <laughs> without doing paperwork. Uh, That's why we're good with the money. Right? <laughs> they teach you a DeVry. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hilarious. Oh, you're afraid of something good happening because you think something bad's going to happen? Oh, my God. God. I don't know. It's terrible. It's a terrible way to live. Wow. What a summation. <laughs> guys are depressing me, man. My real last name is Bad News. I'm in her mom's phone. It's Richie Bad News. Oh, shit. Is your real name Bad News, bruh? She says I'm contagious. I only call with Bad News. Richie Bad News, your son asked, your kid asked you. Is that is it the boy or a girl? No, he has a daughter. She okay. killed her recital. Right. <laughs> Come on, step like Man, Richie oh, is weak in depression. The Pardon? <laughs> the golden dick. What did you say, babe? <laughs> Richie is weak with depression. Like, he's exhausted, but it's, it's emotionally. So they know every single person, That's right? It. So he knows everyone's orders. As usual. So it must be twice as heavy because you know when we host a party, like it's twice as, as tiring because you're talking to every single person and focusing and listening. Ooh, that's the risotto. Mm. 
Dark chicken. Out the grease trap. It's getting backed up in there. I'll get to it. Still dealing with the circuit breaker. Thank you, Chef. Uh, chef, you she think that would be a good time for you to try this? You wish you worded that? Yeah, exactly. Genius. It was all in the approach. It was all going to be in the approach. Right. Ooh, I wanted a spoonful of that. Jesus. It's tremendous, Chef. Thank you, Chef. The sauce is a little bit tight. Yeah, her. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I came fast with a spoon. We start rolling it out as a special soon. See how it plays. It's getting closer. How close? I told you it was great. You have to say tremendous if you remember. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh! Thank you, Chef. Hi, um, these are cola braised short ribs with risotto, and they're yours. Really? Yep, I had an extra. I wonder if she's sure, Maybe it's not here. No, it's here. All right. Depends Pe on how big of a people thing. are gonna ask for it. Well, we'll see how big of a deal this guy is. If this guy happens to be a food writer for the fucking Chicago Tribune, then. Oh no, the bottle. That's crazy. I knew it was dumb to co-sign. FYI. You want to fight? Please. <laughs> I know you're mad at me. I think the thing that just pisses me off is that you never ask me how I'm doing. Like, ever. This place is eating you alive, you know. You always blame this place. What do you mean? I mean, you blame the restaurant, right? You don't blame Mom. You don't blame Mikey. I just cleaned up shot-out glass, and now I'm covered in carbon <laughs> all of our time money carbon. work the only thing we get back is chaos resentment wow she ain't lying it's not an equivalent exchange i want things to feel consistent yeah consistent. you know what karm can bring to this yeah. place she just needs it to work right fucking right now, now exactly um, i feel like i'm kind of trapped because i can't describe I'm feeling so to ask somebody else how they're feeling it just seems uh yeah help nobody disingenuous help yourself yeah. I don't know insane how are you feeling <laughs> really good just great <laughs> right found something yo Yo, is this it? Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sitting in this file labeled shit. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, shit. What's he doing? Oh. No! What's going on with these edges, Chef? Gotta be cleaner than that. Knife is shit. Where's my gun? Oh, shit, Richard. Everything's under control. Um, please enjoy your beefs. Focus on that. Uh, <laughs> Chicago, am I right? Don't get hurt, Sydney. No, 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 no. no. That's where you're wrong. Huh? Hey, what shut you know? up! Please. What's going on here? This isn't his space. Oh, your space. Yeah, because you know what? You're the one. Lower There's our voices, please. I'm Sydney. Let's start there. John. Mr. Carl. Associates, uh, good afternoon. <laughs> this guy's panicking while she's taking she's handling shit out there so how do we fix this can't be fixed because this guy's a bitch oh you fucking said it for the ladder energy bars your guns in the energy bars <laughs> bro don't go shoot oh your dick God. off now he's not gonna need it the way he's dating I thought you meant the gun. You're talking about his prick. All right, so we do this every week. No yelling, no no smoking, where all the food is. You know what I mean. All right? Okay. Okay. It's gonna need a pop shoe. I know it, Watch on the sandwiches. Great. Deal only applies to the guys that's out here right now. So don't go telling your auntie, brother, cousins, friends to come down here every Tuesday, okay? Cool. Man, real fancy. This is exactly what happens when you sleep with Bro, you gotta change your ways. Your ways need to change. He pulls up again, right? And now this is the third He's back stop, at it. Richie, you gotta shut up. Richie. Richie, now. You shut the fuck up for a second. You need to go home and cool off. 
What? You need to get out of here. You are fucking my shit up. I feel like I'm on a different fucking planet right now. You are. My has improved 300%. This is real and alive. And she's never felt like this before. She was the most cynical. Right. It's good. So her testimonial means twice as much. She's a baby, you know? Walking around thinking that she can handle shit. This You're is the fucking baby. Fucking ecosystem. I don't fucking need this shit right now. Your mental state is the delicate fucking ecosystem right now. I'm a quit. Where are you gonna go? Oh fuck. She wasn't even concerned about you quitting. She didn't she just didn't believe you could do it. Wow. The only place that fucking Who's gonna accept that shit? Exactly. Oh Who's my god. Who's gonna take him in, bro? Look at them rock, babe. Can I get two more chicken and peppers? There's VIP oh, on the one. It's Tom reason. Skilling, so can I get a dessert drop, please? Yo, Tom Marcus, Skilling. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Dessert drop. Yes, chef. Say it back. More urgency, please. Can I get hands, please? Hands. And chef said need three chicken up. Thank you, chef. Can I get hands, please? Still outside the whole Marcia. day. <gasps> Did he call them? I wonder, did you do that? Did he just so happen to be out there while the police were coming? I think this is him helping. Man, like, it's true because Tina said this place is real and alive. So he's like, maybe I should fucking start operating it the right way. Get rid of the garb, get rid of all, all the garbage been taken out from the inside of the restaurant. Let's clean up the garbage on the outside of the restaurant. Wow. I this really hope it's Richie. Amazing. Yeah. So good. And they got John fucking Bernthal to play Michael. <laughs> they got the guy for a three minute scene. That's crazy. Uh, he's great. It was he's a good interaction. The dynamic between him and Richie was nice. No, that was uh, that was crazy. That was really good. That was a great story. The way they told that, and like, it was like, and what what it, it almost felt like uh, they were talking. It almost felt like Richie was stuck in a time capsule because mm. you saw the joy, the joy, the emphasis that like he was loving ad-libbing to John's, ad-libbing to Michael's story. You know what right. I'm saying? Cause of, cause of how it played out. And like, you see that it, although it, it, like you said, it was, it was nearby because they were all close in age to now. Yeah. Like they showed the distance by adding the beard and adding him, you know what I'm saying? Like not a family a gathering, him, aged. him kind of uh, dating, you know what I'm saying? And they they made sure that he wasn't in a t-shirt or a jersey like he was hanging out with his boys. He was in a suit, so they showed everything changed except the person inside. You know what I'm saying? The clothes changed, the beard changed, the look changed, the mind hasn't, and that's that. That is the delicate ecosystem he was referring to the whole episode. Because it's it's just up here. He believes that something is like he believes he couldn't get them guys out the corner. He went to talk to them. He's like, ah, nah, 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 nah. he's like, it's a delicate ecosystem. If they get crazy, I gotta I gotta either take them out because I can't call the police. You know what I'm saying? You heard everybody. You're gonna call the police? No. You know what's funny? Like when the sister first came to the door and he uh, she's she tells him that they're coming from my house. He hears that and right away uh, Richie pops up and he's like, who's coming for your house? And they're like the IRS, the government, and he's like, "Oh, that shit! Like, I don't, I don't deal with this. Obviously, they haven't paid taxes in the last five years, so it's like he he's so far behind. Like, he can't he can't even be in the same conversation as these people. No, it's not. It's I mean, he just talks. The thing is, he just talks over people, but he's not talking to people because right. he can't even relate because these people actually have responsibilities they have to relate. take care of. That's what it is. And the thing is, what was crazy is that, like, yeah, Richie's a like. And the thing is, what's so funny is like uh, he reminds me so much of one of my former friends because he's stuck in a time capsule. Everything has changed except for his mind. So he's still stuck in an older mind and he survives in the chaos. So the only time you would see him and you would have fun with him was at a party. But anytime you want to have a, a conversation, a coffee, a dinner, a sit down, anything but an absolute wild party, the guy can't survive it. You know what I'm saying? 
but he's super fun at, in those circumstances. In those but he, he doesn't survive in anything else. And the chaos that they had, the chaos that they had conjured when Michael was there, he thrived in. He was selling coke in the alley. He was talking shit to everybody up and down the line. Because the thing is, even the first few episodes before they had implemented fully the thing, you saw Richie standing there talking to like four everybody, or five of them. Yep. And Carmi's like, yo, I think we should define our roles a little bit clearer. Yeah, yeah, cousin. And he had all five of them around him talking. You know what I'm saying? Now he only had, now we see that even those have lessened. You can't even get the attention of the fucking pastry chef anymore. And so what do you see him? He's following Tina because he was the, she was she the was last the, soldier the to convert to the army. Grape in she there. was the last one to convert. So he still, he still, he was still poking away at the one chink in the armor. And even she said, I leveled up 300%. Now you're fucking up my shit by talking to me. You think this is an enjoying part for me? This just used to be a, this just used to be a consequence of the chaos we used to survive in. Now that we're thriving, bro. You gotta cut all that shit out. Cut it out. Man. What another incredible episode Amazing. of the Bear. And we can't wait to get on to the next one. So thank y'all for joining us for the latest episode of The Bear. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video. Let us know what you thought about the episode down in the comments. And be sure to go over to our Patreon and spell our full-length uncut reaction or stop by simply to support our channel. I'm Trudy. And I'm Drake for Beauty and the Bear. We'll see you the next one. Peace.